Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss AAA based authentication and we will discuss the, the local as well as server based authentication. So AAA actually stands for authentication, authorization and accounting. And this AAA is actually a framework, uh, this is a set of protocols by which we want to control access to the network devices. It means in our organization, we can have multiple routers like here, we can have multiple switches. So we want to control that who can access our network and who cannot access our network. So we want to make our devices and our network secure. And this uh, request to access devices may come maybe using Telnet or this may come using Secure Shell or this may come uh, by using console port. So this user may come like like Telnod, SSH, or, or console port. And if the user is going to, is trying to access this network, then how we can make sure that no unauthorized user can access our devices or our network. So uh, in, in the first uh, word that is authentication, so in, in this AAA framework, the first word is authentication, and this authentication actually refers to verifying the identity of a, of a network user. So it means if we are using this framework, which is AAA framework, this will check the authenticity, or uh, it will check the authentication of the user. So this is the first responsibility of this AAA framework. So if, if this user wants to access this network, this framework will ask from this user that who are you? Okay, then it has to prove its identity. First component of this frame, uh, framework and the second component is authorization. Authorization means, for example, uh, when this router asked him or this, uh, this user that who are you? It provided some username, it provided some password to prove his identity and after passing this exam or this identity check. Now the second part is that in this router what kind of actions he is authorized to perform? Maybe he is only allowed to use the user mode or maybe he is allowed to use the privilege mode of the IOS which is, which is there in the, in the router. So we are now we are going to set the privileges or uh, we are going to set the authority of different kinds of users by using the second component of this triple A uh, framework or set of protocols. So you see, we are getting benefit from this, uh, this framework in authenticating the user and also authorizing the users. And the third component of this framework is, and that's also very important, that is accounting. So accounting means, for example, so this is accounting. Accounting means now you have provided the access to this device and this device has IOS and this user is going to do something here. It means he is using the IOS there. He is playing with this. Maybe he is changing the IP address of some interface. Maybe he is changing the host name of this router. So whatever operation is being performed by this man or this user, now those all operation will be recorded somewhere. That this user changed the host name, this user changed the IP address of that particular interface. So whatever actions this user will be performing on this router, they all will be recorded and there will be an account of all these activities and this action is performed by the accounting component of this really important important framework so this is the this is the basic job of this triple a now as an example for example here they show that when a user tries to access the ios of a router here for example in this then what happens this user will be prompted to provide the username as well as the password. So user has to give its username here and the password here. So once it has given the username and password, uh, so if the user provided the right password, then he should be allowed to access the IOS of this route. And this, in this way, he will be provided the new window in which he can, uh, he can perform 
administrative tasks or whatever task is authorized to do. So this is the basic job of triple A. Now, this triple A can be actually deployed locally. So we call this triple A local authentication. And in this authentication, this triple A functions can be performed locally with the locally available database. So for example, this user wants to access this router. Now this router itself will maintain a database. And in this database, we will save these all username and every activity which, has, which, which is supposed to be performed by AAA. So that is known as AAA local authentication. And second one is, uh, is performed by some dedicated machine. So in this case, we will have some dedicated machine or dedicated server there. We'll discuss it later on. But at the moment, we are discussing this local authentication. So what happens? In this local authentication, this router itself will have a database. So this will locally means router itself can be configured to verify the authenticity or authentication of the user. So router itself will do it and with the help of some database like this in this router. So router is going to maintain the database of the users. So basically what happens, so the first, so first the user will establish a connection with the router. So this this user wants to access the IOS of this router. So first it will establish the connection. So that connection will not be, uh, it, it doesn't mean that it has access the IOS of the router. Just to send its request to the router, it has established a connection. And then as soon as connection is established, this router will ask this user that who are you so this will be the authentication from the user and this user has to provide the username and password so it will have the window like this and once so in this case it will say that yes i am ishan so ishan is a name for instance and it will have some password there so it has provided the username and password and in this router once the router has received that information so that router, uh, this is, at this time we don't say server, but this router actually verifies, verifies the record which is there. And it may allow it, or it may disallow the user access to the IOS. So for example, if there is a record, for example here, if there is a record for Ishan and there is a password for it, it verified that yes, this is a, this is a legal user or this is this authenticated user, then it can say yes, okay, Ishan, now you can get connected. And in this case, Ishan will be displayed a new window where it can have access to the IOS of this router. So this is one example where AAA is actually locally working. So this is known as uh, AAA local authentication. And next one is AAA server-based authentication. So as the name suggests, in server-based authentication, we have a dedicated server, a dedicated computer or machine there, which we call as a AAA server. Now in this case, what happens, same situation like here, the user wants to access the IOS of this router. So the user establishes the connection with the router just to make a request that I want to access the IOS of this router. So the router will ask, so this is the authentic authentication part as we previously saw, so router will ask for the username and password and the user will send the username and his password to the router. But now router will not decide itself, but router will send and will forward the details to the server for verification. So now this is the server. Now router doesn't have any local database. It is going to forward that request to the server. And now this server, and now, and in this case, actually, in this case, now this router becomes the client for this server. So now this is server, and now this is client. And this router now is known as network access device. So in this role, we also call that network access device, and it has forward that forwarded all the details to this server. And this server now has all the database about the users. For example, in this case, you can see there's a user Ishan and its password. There may be multiple other users. So this user, this database actually has the user as well as administrative access database. So this data, this 
then this uh, server will check the credential which is provided by this router for checking purpose okay so and this server and this server actually services can be uh, deployed or implemented using this Cisco secure SES uh, they can be implemented like uh, by identity service engine that is known as ISE platform so these are some of the services which we can implement there as a triple to make them triple a server so what happens if the the server checks for these all details and if it finds any record for that particular user for example in this case Ishan is the user then it will say yes I found some information in my database and now please allow this user to access the um, iOS of this router and then router will say to this user yes okay you're a valid user and now you can access the iOS of this router so in this way same operation but now the help is uh, received or uh, for this help we have a dedicated machine and now the question is why don't we use this local why are we investing some money here in this specific server now the simple answer is that if for example if you are going to uh, use this uh, local server if we forget about this and we are only using this one then what will happen for example in one organization we can have maybe hundreds of routers so in this case we need to go to the, those all routers so we to go means we need to configure these all routers for different users now to for easiness and there are some other um, benefits as well so in addition to those all benefits one of the most maybe the important benefit is that now we can we can save the database for all these devices in this single router or sorry in this single server machine that's a triple a server and now we don't need to uh, configure these all routers individually just we need to configure this uh, server and it will uh, do our job okay so this is important and some other things about this is that this router as a client and this server they communicate using radius and tech x plus protocols so these radius as well as tech x are the protocols which are used to exchange information between this client and this server. And this radius and tech X are actually the authentication protocol. They are providing the centralized AAA management of user requests for access to network. So these are the protocols, security protocols, which are just helping us to maintain a centralized database and centralized access to the network. So this is the abbreviation for RADIUS. RADIUS stands for uh, Remote Authentication Dial in User Service and TACX Plus stands for Terminal Access Controller uh, Access Control System. And uh, actually this TACX is, is basically Cisco proprietary and there is some difference in between them and maybe we will discuss in some other video that what is the difference between RADIUS and TACX. But at the moment we consider that these are the authentic codes authentication protocol which help us to manage this centralized database of the users and who is allowed to uh, use the network and who is not allowed to use the network so thank you thank you with these words on this slide and uh, i hope something um, you can find a bit useful for you and thank you very much for your time